Maria Sharapova, former world number no. 1 tennis player, failed a drug test for meldonium on January 26, 2016. I wanted to let you know that a few days ago I received a letter from the ITF that I had failed a drug test at the Australian Open. I did fail the test and I take full responsibility for it. World Anti-Doping Agency, that is WADA, has banned a molecule or a drug which is called as meldonium or mildronate. This happened since January 1st, 2016. Meldonium or mildronate is synthesized and it is produced in a large scale by a company called Grindex. And this particular company is in Latvia and this Latvia is basically, it is an Eastern European country. I'm Dr. Mungli, so let me explain to you uh, biochemistry of meldonium, what exactly it is going to do on to our body and why this particular drug has been banned from WADA. So well, let, let's talk about meldonium. So the meldonium, it is basically inhibiting synthesis of a molecule called carnitine. So this carnitine, it is synthesized from lysine and methionine. And this carnitine is transported from liver to other tissues so that carnitine is participating in a transport of long chain fatty acids from cytoplasm into the mitochondrial matrix for beta oxidation process. Let's talk about what uh, in brief about uh, what is exactly is the role of carnitine and how, how this fat, long chain fatty acids are transported from cytoplasm into mitochondrial matrix. So as I have shown you here in the figure, so the long chain fatty acids that is LCFA, basically this is LCFA, long chain fatty acids, they will be activated on the outer mitochondrial membrane by acyl-CoA synthetase enzyme into their fatty acyl CoA form that the activated form and then fatty acyl CoA will interact with CPT1 in the outer mitochondrial membrane during that time carnitine is used here so this is our main focus and that is carnitine so the carnitine combining with fatty acyl CoA to make fatty acyl carnitine and this fatty acyl carnitine is going to get down into the mitochondrial matrix and CPT2 is going to convert fatty acyl carnitine into fatty acyl CoA and that fatty acyl CoA will undergo beta oxidation. Now let me explain you how exactly carnitine is synthesized. So because I just now explained you in, in, uh, previously that carnitine is our main focus here. It is involved in the transport of long chain fatty acids into mitochondrial matrix for beta oxidation. So this carnitine itself, it is synthesized in the liver predominantly by two amino acids and that is lysine and methionine. Here I am showing you the, the process of L-carnitine that is synthesized. So there are two amino acids that are involved in the synthesis that is L-lysine and L-methionine. Basically two essential amino acids, lysine and methionine. So they condense with one another to synthesize trimethyl lysine. And this trimethylacin will go all the way up to gamma betaine molecule. This gamma betaine uh, molecule, it is converted to L-carnitine by gamma betaine hydroxylase enzyme. Note that during the synthesis of this L-carnitine, you need vitamin C, you need vitamin B6 and you need niacin and also you need iron. Now the meldonium what it does, it is going to inhibit this particular enzyme that is gamma betaine enzyme. Thereby it is going to decrease synthesis of L-carnitine. Type of inhibition by meldonium or meldonate is still debatable but one of the uh, sources they say it can be a competitive inhibition because the meldonium or meldonate it is a structural analog of gamma betaine molecule. So, by inhibiting gamma butyryl but, uh, butane hydroxylase enzyme, so meldonium, it is going to synthesize, uh, it is going to decrease the synthesis of carnitine. Apart from this, 
the meldonium it is also in the mitochondria basically the effect of carnitin shuttle reduced by meldonium which is competitively inhibiting a carnitin transporter into the mitochondria and that that the transporter that is involved in that is SLC22A5 so the name of the transporter is SLC 22 a5 this is the transporter which is involved in transport of carnitine into the mitochondria and meldonium is going to decrease the transport of cellular transport of carnitine by inhibiting this particular transporter so overall what happens there will be decrease in the availability of carnitine and this carnitine when it is decreased it is no longer participating in the transport of long chain fatty acids into mitochondrial matrix now let's talk about how exactly this carnitin is why why this meldonium or meldonate is uh, used in the first place what are what all the medical uses of meldonium or meldonate and what all the different mechanism of action of meldonium or meldonate now this slide is giving you overall mechanism of meldonium or meldonate on our body so the first thing is it is decreasing or it inhibits the carnitine biosynthesis by decreasing gamma butyro betaine uh, uh, hydroxylase enzyme it's going to inhibit carnitine transporter that is slc 22a5 transporter thereby carnitine is not available sufficiently in the mitochondria for long chain fatty acid transport across the mitochondrial membrane and also note that uh, the meldonium it's going to decrease acyl carnitine accumulation in the mitochondrial matrix thereby it is going to decrease mitochondrial injury and oxidative stress and also the vasodilatory effects of meldonium it is stipulated due to the uh, stimulation of production of nitric oxide in the vascular endothelium it is hypothesized that meldonium may increase the formation of the gamma butyro betaine esters and the potent parasympathetics uh, sympathomimetics and may activate the endothelial nitric oxide synthase enzyme which causes nitric oxide production via stimulation of the m3 muscarinic acetylcholine receptors or specific gamma butyro betaine ester receptor so these are some of the mechanisms of meldonium so just to quickly over uh, uh, explain this it inhibits carnitine biosynthesis by inhibiting gamma butyro betaine hydroxylase enzyme it inhibits slc 22a5 transporter decreases acyl carnitine accumulation and in it increases nitric oxide production in the endothelium of the blood vessel now this slide is explaining you about the variety of effects of meldonium or meldonate so it has got anti ischemic effect it has got anti convulsion anti -hypo hypnotic effect it has ischemia preconditioning effect and it has vasodilatory effect so the meldonium is believed to exert its cardio protective effects through its ability to cause vasodilatation in the coronary arteries via increased nitric oxide synthesis reducing blood glucose concentration through increased oxidation of glucose and also by preconditioning the heart to handle ischemic situations among other effects so it also has been implicated in the use of cerebral ischemia this is all done through its inhibition of carnitine synthesis by inhibiting cellular transport of carnitine and increasing nitric oxide production Meldonium has also been found to induce anti-convulsant and anti-hypnotic effects involving alpha-2 adrenergic receptors as well as nitric oxide dependent mechanism. See the vasodilatory and metabolic modulator effect has been shown to have increased physical and mental endurance thereby it has been used by many professional athletes. by subsequently inhibiting carnitine biosynthesis and decreasing the availability of carnitine in the mitochondria fatty acid transport is reduced and the accumulation of cytotoxic intermediate products of fatty acid beta oxidation in ischemic tissues to produce energy is prevented thereby blocking this highly oxygen consuming process treatment with meldonium therefore shifts the myocardial energy metabolism from fatty acid oxidation to more favorable oxidation of glucose via glycolysis under ischemic condition okay so the meldonium what it does it is going it is acting as a metabolic modulator and it is going to shift 
uh, use of fatty acid by the cardiac tissue into glucose utilization. So the fact for this slide is uh, whenever fatty acid oxidation is going on, so there will be large consumption of oxygen in the cardiac tissue. Whereas for oxidation of glucose do not need that much oxygen. So it also reduces the formation of trimethylamine anoxide, a product of conitin breakdown and which is implicated in the pathogenesis of atherosclerosis and congestive art, art failure. The final effect is a decreased risk of myocardial injury from fatty acid oxidation and a reduction of the production of acylconitins which has been implicated in the development of insulin resistance. Because of its inhibitory effects on L-conitin biosynthesis and its subsequent glycolytic, uh, glycolytic effects as well as reduced acylconitin production, meldonium has been uh, indicated for use in diabetes patients. Long term use has been shown to reduce blood glucose concentration, exhibit cardioprotective effects and prevent and uh, reduce re uh, severity of diabetic complications. Long term treatment has also been shown to attenuate the development of atherosclerosis in the heart. Now, Meldonium is believed to continually train the heart pharmacologically even without physical activity, inducing preparation of cellular metabolism and membrane structures speci specifically in the myocardial mitochondria to survive ischemic stress conditions. This is done by adapting myocardial cells to lower fatty acid inflow and by activating glycolysis. The heart eventually begins using glycolysis instead of beta oxidation during real life ischemic condition. This reduces oxidative stress on cells, formation of cytotoxic products of fatty acid oxidation and subsequent cellular damage. This has made meldonium a positive pharmacological agent for ischemic preconditioning uh, issue. Because of all these effects that uh, you, uh, I, I have listed here, so the meldonium has, uh, it has been used in variety of conditions that you can use in coronary artery disease, cerebral ischemia, atherosclerosis, prevention of type 2, di type two diabetes mellitus, cardiomyopathies where there is decreased oxygenation to the myocardial tissue and, all, and in congestive cardiac failure and also it is used in physical and mental endurance especially by professional athletes. This is all about meldonium. I hope you have understood or you got some good points about meldonium. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Thank you.